joining me in the room podcast is a very special guest. I have Jorgen, the Mad Titan, De Castro on the show, ready to talk about his appearance, homecoming to CES MMA, CES 65, on November 7th. Jorgen, man, I haven't talked to you in so long, man. I'm so excited, bro. Uh, welcome to the show, man. Thank you, my man. It was all, it's always a pleasure to talk with you, my man. Dude, man, it's been a while. You know, you had the, the few fights in the UFC. You're coming back home, man. Let, let's let just talk about the ride the last couple years and, uh, you know, what you thought about, you know, the whole experience. Yeah, crazy, man. Uh, my, my, my fight career has been crazy. Like, I start, I start my, my profession uh, career, was, I think, was end of November of 2017, and a year and a half was already in UFC. So it was up. Now, may people think may I'm coming down, but actually, I think this is a blast in the sky. Then, I, I, as a, when I first start, I didn't get a chance to headline no cards. I only fought three times local. And I was already in contender series. So now I got I got a chance to come back here, uh, uh, headline a card in my hometown with a lot of people watching me now. Man, the support has been crazy. I'm already. I already sold hundreds of tickets, so going to be a full house. People cheer on me. It's like I, I tell people, this is a different experience for me. Like like I'm, I'm I'm rebuilding myself. I'm I'm restart over, and and uh, I feel the love. I feel the support. So it's, I have all the ingredients. Um, I believe in my skills, and this is great, man. I'm I'm taking this as a great opportunity to show me. Excellent, my man. Well, you know, during that whole time in the UFC, you fought through adversity. You fought through the whole COVID pandemic you went you know you went to the island you 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 went beyond a lot of fighters what they would have done and stepped up and you know you were rewarded in the UFC for more fights man it didn't pan out but like you said you're back you're rebuilding there uh you know CES you're back there on fight pass it's a great first fight to rebuild and get back to the UFC what are you thinking about as far as, you know, heading to Providence? It's only about 25 minutes or so from your, your hometown. You know, what's the excitement level? You just talked about it, but the, the real excitement level to be able to fight in front of so many fans and friends. Yeah, this has been crazy. I told people, I, I, and I keep telling people all the time, uh, they say, oh, this, this must be a big deal because you fall in Australia. Uh, I fall in front of 57,000 people. The difference from those 50, 57,000, only four was chair for me. Was my, was my wife, my uncle, and my two coaches. So this time I have a full crowd, all for River, and everybody around, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure all, all the crowd are gonna be chair for me. So it's like I'm, I'm in my backyard, and uh, I'm de definitely more pressure. But man, I'm, I'm been training hard, I'm, I'm, been, I'm, I'm been doing everything right this time, and uh, I can't wait, man, I can't wait to put on a show. Excellent. Now, your first fight back, was it always CES in your mind? Were you, I'm sure you had offers all over the over the table. But what was the choice to, uh, you know, jump back with CES? I mean, I, I, when I first started, I always fought for CES. So I fought three times for CES and one for NEF, uh, which I, I like NEF too. I have a good relationship with them. Uh, but but uh, you got to see it. CES is a is, is probably step down to UFC. If you want to get back to UFC or get back to any big leagues, CES is, is the place. Uh, uh, you fought tough competition, but the, spot, the spotlight is there. Uh, uh, UFC matchmaker gonna watch it. Everybody wanna watch it. So uh, to me, is get right back to 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 the to better competition, test myself, and and see what I stand. I mean, if if I go right down there and uh, I do what I supposed to do, I do what I believe I can do. People will see that no, this guy is gonna be local for a few more fights, and then I get back to the big league. So CES is the spot, and they and also I, I want I want to thank them. Dude. They they've been great for me. I I had a fight book. I, I, unfortunate uh, family probably I had to back it up, but they always texted me, ask ask what I am, and 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 I like that. They they've been really good to me. So I, I feel like I want CES and defense a, a great fight on November seventh. Here you go. And uh, uh, rewarded you. You're the main event there, my friend. Uh, let's talk about the opponent and, you know, the game of this guy. I mean, he's no stranger to CES. He fought Greg Rebello at CES. Um, you know, has a boxing match. Not too So he's been getting work out there. Uh, 
Dayel Williams, man, uh, pretty decent record. He's got a bunch of more fights than you, so the experience level as far as in the cage, I mean, you fought for the UFC. He has it, but what are you thinking about him as, you know, an opponent on the other side of the cage from you? Oh, definitely, definitely great opponent. I mean, the guy got, like, I think, 14, 15 professional fights. He's been there with, with a lot of good guys, uh, uh, but it's a great matchup. He's a striker. He he, he want to come to bang, and uh, that's what I want, man. But this this fight will tell a lot for me, and, and it will tell where I stand between... Uh, uh, levels of competition so so i have to go there and prove that i that i'm this level doesn't matter if you have 14 fight i have this is going to be my 10 but i believe i'm, I'm a level above and I'm, I'm going to show this i'm going to show november 7th well no uh shortage of fighters coming out of regiment training facility there in fall river my friend uh you have uh partners good good friend of yours on the card with you how special is it to make your way back homecoming for CES, and then have fellow training partners uh, taking that walk to the cage with you? Dude, that definitely a very special, special moment for us. I have uh, Pat McCraw, a long-time teammate with me. I'm excited for him. We train all the time together. Aaron Hughes fighting. We have another upcoming kid, really, really good, that people are going to get to see. His name is KG. Uh, so we got a lot of good guys, and we all put in, put in, the, in the work and, and working hard and, and to represent the gym and represent everybody. So we... We, it's exciting for me, of course. But I, one thing that I tell my coach, I don't really want to see the, the fight of my opponent or my, or my teammates because I'm going to get too excited. <laughs> so, they'll get the results and I'm good to go. Well, dude, you'll be in the back. You're the main event. Uh, there'll be so much action around you. They'll be keeping you. They'll be doing their own thing. You won't have time to watch their fights, man. But... <laughs> Uh, they'll definitely be on the side, Cade side, watching yours because you are the main event, man. How does that feel to, uh, you know, be that, you know, that spotlight fight and your first fight back and on Fight Pass? It's great, man. It's, it, that's what I tell people. People say, oh, the guy was on top of UFC, now he's coming down. I'm not coming down. I'm still there. I'm in UFC Fight Pass. I'm the main event of CES, uh, uh, such a great event. And, and uh, every, if everything go right the way I planned, Two, three more fights, I'm right back where I, where I belong. So this is great for me. Like, like this is a blessing in the skies. Great. I got a chance to go and, 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 and train harder and fix things that I did wrong. This, when I was in UFC, a lot of things happened too, but people don't have to know. Personal thing, injuries. Uh, like you say, fought to COVID without a training camp. So a lot of things happen, but it is what it is. People don't doesn't really care about this thing. And I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't complain right now. But I know that I, if I keep my, myself 100% focused and healthy, I'm right back again. And, dude, all that stuff you've been through, the adversity, and now coming back here, man, like you said, they don't know about it, but that grows you, inspires you, and, uh, you know, uh, blasts you off into getting back onto that big, big stage, man. So last uh, question before I let you give your shout-outs and get back, because it's crunch time, man, my, two and a half weeks before the show, man. Um, what do we expect to see out of the Mad Titan on his return to the CES MMA cage on November 7th? I mean, kill or be killed. I'm going right forward, take the center of the cage, and I'm going to throw bombs. That's, uh, mark my words. I'm not backing it up. So it's going to be, uh, I'm going to put a striking clinic on, on, on Daniel Williams. And uh, it, it, it is what it is, man. I, I'm, I, I'm not scared to get knocked out. I've been knocked out before. And this is no strange. I'm going to go forward like a lion. <laughs> man, I missed you, brother, man. I missed you in town, man. And uh, <laughs> I got to go there. We got to go there. Yeah. We gotta go there. And, dude, uh, you, you, the whole gang can come in here uh, post-fights like a couple of weeks after. We'll have a beer and we'll hang out and talk about it. But until then, man, dude, shout-outs, sponsors, social media, how we get in touch with you because I'm sure you have – Probably one or two more tickets left to sell. sell. So shout it all out there, my man. Yeah, man, thank you. Nah, man, I, I want to thank everybody, man. This is this is a bit crazy journey for me, but I want to thank everybody who support me, all my fans, family, my coaches, uh, all the gym that I train, regiments, uh, uh, Timbo Reels in Providence, uh, Infinite Fitness, and, of course, all my teammates. Without you guys, I mean, I, I wouldn't make it this far. And, and of course, the fans, man. I, I, I love it. I love, I love the support. And, I mean, last and not least is CES for, for allowed me to be part of the great event, and I can't wait. 
Excellent, my man. Well, a pleasure as always to talk to you, man. Uh, it's like talking to one of my best friends, bro. Uh, you're a good dude, man. Glad to see you back and uh, putting on a show on the 7th, man. So, Yorga, man, uh, I'll see you in, uh, you know, a couple of weeks or so, man, uh, putting in that work, man. Congratulations Thank on everything, bro. bro. Thank you, bro. Appreciate it.